Celia and Sujela. The cilia and flagella are microscopic, contractile and filamentous processes of the cytoplasm which create food currents. They act as sensory organs and perform many mechanical functions for the cell. Morphologically and physiologically, the cilia and flagella are identical structures but even then both can be distinguished from each other by the number, size and function. The flagella are less in number as compared to the cilia, which might be numerous in number. The flagella occur at one end of the cell, while the cilia may occur throughout the surface of the cell. The flagella are longer, that is up to 150 microns, while the cilia are short appendages of the cytoplasm and are around 5 to 10 microns long. While flagella beat independently and exhibit undulatory motion, cilia tend to beat in a coordinated rhythm and move in a sweeping or pendular stroke motion. The flagella occur in the protozoans of the class flagelletta, coanocyte cells of the sponges, spermatozoa of the metazoa, and among plants on the algae and gamete cells. The cilia occur in the protozoans of the class ciliata and members of other classes and the ciliated epithelium of the metazoa. It may occur on external body surface and may help in the locomotion of animals such as the larvae of certain platyhelminthes, nemertines, echinodermata, mollusca and annelida. The cilia may lie in the internal cavities or passages of the metazoan bodies as air passage of the respiratory system. The nematode worms and arthropods have no cilia. The cilia and flagella have a fibrillar or microtubular composition. Regardless of the differences, the cilia and flagella have fundamentally the same structure. At the bases, the cilium has a diameter of about 0.2 or 2000 angstrom, which may be up to 10 microns above the cell surface. Both the cilia and flagella remain bound by unit membrane of 95 angstrom thickness, which resembles and remains continuous with the plasma membrane. The bounded space of the cilium contains a watery substance known as a matrix. In the matrix, there remain embedded 11 longitudinal fibrils or microtubules. Out of the 11 fibrils, two are located in the center, while the remaining 9 fibrils remain arranged peripherally around the central fibrils. Each of the 9 outer fibrils is 60 angstrom in diameter and composed of two subfibrils of 180 to 250 angstrom in diameter. These subfibrils are designated as subfibril A and subfibril B. Subfibril A is slightly larger than subfibril B. The subfibril A gives out two thick projections or arms from one of its side which remain directed in a clockwise direction. Further, the subfibril A appears a lot closer to the center of the cilium than subfibril B. Both the subfibrils have a common wall of 50 angstrom thickness. The two central fibrils do not have paired subfibrils like the peripheral nine fibrils, but each contains only a single tubule. Each central fibril has a diameter of about 250 angstrom and is composed of 60 angstrom thick wall. Both the central fibrils remain separated by a space of 350 angstrom and remain enveloped in a common sheath. The sheath of the central fibrils gives out nine radially oriented links 
of spokes to each subfibril A. High resolution electron microscopy has revealed that each of the peripheral and central fibrils of the cilia and flagella is composed of 10 to 12 filaments of 40 angstrom thickness. Each filament is beaded, whereas each bead remains ranged in the lattices of 40 by 50 angstrom in the plane of the are considered the basic subunit of the tubule structure. The flagellum or spermatozoon tail has an additional element, a helical fibril around the periphery of the flagellum. Fin-like structures have also been found projecting in the direction of central fibers in the spermatozoon tails of some species. The flagellum of bacteria is somewhat different in plan of organization consisting of a single fiber instead of 9 plus 2 filaments. The fibers are cylindrical and composed of globular molecules of 40 angstrom in diameter, arranged in hexagonal packing with a helical twist. These molecules are a fibrous protein known as flagellin which belongs to the keratin, myosin, elastin, fibrinogen group. Both cilia and flagella are chemically composed of 70 to 84 percent proteins, 13 to 23 percent lipids, 1 to 6 percent carbohydrates and 0.2 to 0.4 percent nucleotides. The arms of the subfibril A and central fibrils contain the protein dynein, which contains the enzymes ATPase of the cilia. The outer fibrils contain a protein which resembles the actin of the muscle cell. The cilia and the flagella serve many purposes and their movements propel the organism. The cilia are contractile structures and two types of rhythms known as metachronic and isochronic or synchronous rhythms produce the wave of contractions in them. In the metachronic type of rhythm, the cilia of a row beat one after the other, while in case of synchronous or isochronic rhythm, all the cilia of a row beat simultaneously. In contrast, the flagella exhibit undulant motion and beat independently. The cilia and flagella perform some important functions like the movement caused by the bar strokes and return strokes provides locomotion to the cell or organism. The cilia create food currents in lower aquatic animals. In the respiratory tract, the ciliary movements help in the elimination of the solid particles from it. The eggs of the amphibians and mammals are driven out from the oviduct by the aid of vibratile cilia of the latter. Let us discuss the differences between cilia and flagella. Cilia are short, hair-like organelles, 2 to 10 microns long and occur in large numbers, while flagella are fairly long, whip-like organelle, 100 to 200 microns long, are fewer in number and may occur Singly. Cilia often cover the entire cell or the entire exposed surface of a cell, whereas flagella are always found at one end of a cell. All cilia move in a coordinated manner in a row or groups and show sweeping or rowing motion. Flagella usually beat independently and show undulatory motion. Cilia fuse in some protozoans to form undulating membranes, membranelles or cirri. They also line ducts, tubules and help in locomotion. On the other hand, flagella do not fuse but just help in locomotion. Thus, cilia and flagella perform many physiological processes of the cell such as locomotion, alimentation, 
circulation, respiration, excretion and perception of scent.